Right now, I'm hiking into the Chugach Mountains with a bow that I made. I just finished it yesterday. This is a hickory bow. It's a stave that I've had since I was 12 years old. And I just made a standard D-style longbow. I've got caribou antler tip overlays, otter fur silencers, and I've also sprayed it with spar urethane to try and keep the water out. I plan on camping for a couple of days, and I didn't bring very much food. This valley is one of my favorites. There are marmots, ptarmigan, and black bears. Because I have dogs, I'll probably focus on the small game. All right, so this is base camp. I got my tent set up. I'm gonna switch to this little day pack. I put my fly rod, some extra camera batteries, um, and a water filter in there. I've seen a few ptarmigan already and I've heard a lot of marmots. So I'm crossing my fingers that I'll be able to get close enough with my bow and arrow. Come here, Bricks. Come here. I'll probably start with flu flu arrows and I shoot 308 cartridges. I just hot glue those to the end of the wooden arrow shafts. Here we go. Ready? Let's go hunting. Hunting with the dogs gives me a serious advantage because they can smell birds that I can't see. And so they point birds out that I would never have seen if they weren't here. But when you get close to ptarmigan, they laugh right before they fly. <laughs> in ptarmigan now, but I haven't had any shot opportunities yet. They're holding really tight in the willows and I can't see them, so I'm just bumping them and then they fly away, but I've been within shooting distance, which is cool. I might go down by the pond and fly fish for a little bit, and uh, then I'll do the other side of the valley back towards the tent. I've been hunting for about three hours. The boys spooked more time again, and they went right there. I'm gonna go try and find them. Gonna take a few practice shots. Well, I have to check it out.
Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Check this thing out. I saw it, I saw its head in the grass, and I drew back, and I just saw one bird's head. And when I shot, like five of them flew up away, and this one went up and then right back down, and I went and I caught it with my hands. I can't believe I finally got one. I mean, I've only been doing this for one day, but it's been a tough day. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. Build a bow and then go hunt ptarmigan with it in the mountains in Alaska. I couldn't be happier right now. I do think it's a good thing that I switched from the flu-flus, the ones with five fletchings, to this one. This is a lot faster and it just about stoned that bird, so. Blunt tips are where it's at. Okay, well we've got at least three hours back to the tent. I'm gonna start making my way back there now so that I can make it by dark. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky again. Whoa. I took a couple feathers off of that one. Well, first of all. I made a rookie mistake on that one. There was five birds in a cubby, and I aimed for the center of the cubby instead of picking a bird. And then I missed all of them. ceremonial de-stringing of the bow. I'm probably 30 minutes from camp now. You can see it's got a little bit of string follow. I'll have to heat treat it when I get home. That went well, you know. I had a lot of shot opportunities. I've only been shooting this bow for one day. I finished it yesterday. So to be able to get a ptarmigan with a bow that I made, I'm so stoked. See that right there? That's my tent. That's where we're headed. These long days in the mountains take a lot out of me. I keep having to sit down and take a break. It's just, uh, it's like a glycogen deficit or something. Like, uh, my muscles just feel tired and heavy. Cleaning a bird's really easy. Got all my meat right here spread out. I brought some chicken seasoning. I'll have to go get more water now. Leave it. That's the tenderloin. Getting tired of eating fish every day. So, that's pretty nice. This is the breast, this is the tenderloin. 
That's the best part by far. I can't imagine there's very much fat in this. Protein only does so much for you. But it's just like a cool thing to do, go out and provide food for yourself. I'm pretty proud of myself. Now I'm gonna have to go get water before bed. And then I'll just climb in the tent, inflate my air mattress, and then go to sleep. I think a two-person tent is just barely big enough. It's a good thing that the dogs are dry. If you want to see the video where I built this bow, that will be out next Sunday. Yeah, thanks for watching. Pretty happy I got one, and what a beautiful campsite.